Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're doing something a little different. It's not exactly a Star Wars or a gaming video. We're actually going to be looking at some of the Super 7 Thundercats uh, figures. They're, are, they're the 7-inch uh, scale uh, collector's figures. And uh, I'm going to be comparing these to some of the Maddie Collect Thundercats. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm a big, big Thundercats fan. And I uh, had pre-ordered the uh, the Thunder Tank, so whenever that shows up, we'll be doing that too. And uh, I'll be looking at some more Thundercats uh, in the uh, distant future as they, as they come out. If you guys are new here to the channel, I've got a new huge, huge giveaway going on right now for a lightsaber. If you want to win a lightsaber, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. More details for that giveaway are going to be on Crabok.com. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these now. I ordered these from Big Bad Toy Store, and uh, and and I don't do a whole lot of uh, collectibles or action figures anymore. But I did order them in substandard grade. And uh, one of the interesting things about substandard grade, since I'm not a box collector, like I always take my stuff out of the boxes. I want things set up on the shelves. I'll even let my kids play with them sometimes. Uh, but I still really, really like the uh, the high quality stuff. And so, uh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not worried about the boxes. So we have like a minor, minor box damage here, right? And sometimes it's kind of cool because you can save a dollar or two if you order substandard grade. Uh, and one of these was actually the same price, but I still ordered substandard grade. We've got Slythe and Jaga here. And uh, and and the Slythe box was also substandard grade. Had a little a little little denting on the on the on the cardboard there. And I just don't mind taking a substandard grade box because I'm gonna throw the box out anyway. Uh, and obviously they're not gonna give you something that's like, you know, massively damaged, but I don't mind a minor inconvenience. So we're gonna open these up. Oh man, these are, these are really something. These are really something. This is, this is cool, man. This is so much fun. I just, I loved Thundercats growing up. I absolutely, uh, it was my number one favorite show. And uh, every day after school, and then once it went into syndication as often as I could, we would even rent Thundercats VHS tapes, and I would watch those on uh, you know, like on special occasions as well. So we've got oh man, this is this is really something. So I'm gonna open these up. They're in a, a sealed bag here as well. I've got more stuff coming from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. We've got more of the Thundercats coming because I don't have the original crew and I'm not a necessarily a, uh, a person that has to have 100% of everything like I didn't order this whole wave because there was one uh, one of the pirate guys that I just don't particularly want um, so I just ordered these two individually um, but wow this is a beautiful box of course I already dinged it a little bit I squeezed it a little too hard right there no problem because this box is gonna go in the trash even though it's a beautiful box I'm totally throwing it in the garbage uh, because I'm, I'm not, I don't have room. I've got too many board games. I've got too many miniatures uh, to, to save boxes. I just don't have the room. Oh, but if I did, this would be a box worth saving. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. That's a gorgeous box. All right, so these are going to slide off. And we've got Jaga, the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the Thundercats. I always had issues with Jaga because I've always thought that Jaga was a little bit of a uh, a dirty old man, because if you guys remember the first episode of Thundercats, they were all nude in the first episode, with, with the exception of Jaga. Jaga wasn't nude, but he made all the other Thundercats get naked, and, and and it wasn't until he was getting ready to die that he finally gave them clothes, and I always thought that, like, that maybe Jaga was to blame for that, like, it was his doing, right, and and, and, and I don't know, like, I feel like they, that could be a Robot Chicken episode or something, I'm not sure. All right, we got Slythe here, oh man, Slythe looks super cool, so this is one of the things that's really cool about the Super 7, uh, as opposed to the Maddie Collect, we've got, look at the back of the box here, uh, we, we had, um, with this, with the Super 7, they gave a lot more accessories, because at least with their first wave, uh, you know, they had the Lion-O and Panthro, and I did actually order those. They, they put them back in stock, so I did order the Lion-O and Panther, which I also have the Maddie Collect versions, so I'll be able to do a one-to-one -one comparison for those once I, you know, I eventually ordered the reprints. But uh, they give you a lot more accessories, alternate head sculpts, alternate, uh, a lot of extra bits to try to make it worthwhile. But I'm going to get these two guys out of the box. We'll take a look at them and their articulation and some of the accessories, and then we'll also do some comparisons with some of the original Thundercats from Maddie Collect. All right, so first up is Slythe. He is uh, kind of a heavier piece. He's got a lot of weight in his tail here, and uh, he looks really nice. There's some great painting on him, uh, a nice little bit of like wash in some of these scales to kind of give him uh, a really very natural look. 
a lot of a gradual kind of gradient of uh, lighter green to darker green in some of the parts. And then, of course, we've got that leathery blue flesh that looks uh, real, real nice in there. Um, some nice applications here on uh, his jewelry and his little ornament. And uh, and then uh, even the bottom of the feet are kind of painted in that color, which is really cool. Um, he's got the little toenails that are painted in a darker green. It's nice to see the nails actually get some paint. Uh, really, really clean paint job here, too. I'm not seeing uh, really errors or, uh, or many errors. There's a little bit of a splotch right there on the uh, loincloth and uh, maybe a little uh, rub right here on the on the belt but uh, but uh, but other than that it's not too bad not too bad at all we've got uh, several different accessories uh, but let's go over articulation first uh, so he's he's very heavy and uh, he's not going to be able to be as poseable this tail really just kind of goes uh, around and around and uh, it doesn't really bend or anything like that, which, you know, you, when you sacrifice some mobility, you get better, uh, I guess, better, um, you know, no better look because you don't have joints in the tail. And I can see that being maybe problematic, but it also helps him keep his balance because you can kind of adjust this a little bit and, uh, and do a lot of other things with his legs, but it also gets in the way of certain types of posing. So you can't really have him look up unless you want to maybe have him on his tippy toes. Right. Um, so what, what kind of articulation in the, in the leg, We've got a ball joint on each leg, which allows a lot of uh, fluctuation. It's also got that butterfly effect in there. So you can really get those legs very far out, which is really cool. So you can uh, have him be, uh, uh, you know, doing kung fu kicks if you want. Um, although it doesn't really fit Slive's, Slive's personality. Uh, he does have a pretty good, uh, almost 90 degree bend in the knee, even though he's got a very short calf here. Uh, and then he does have uh, a full ankle pivot as well in both of his legs. So you can really get a lot of flexibility and uh, posability in there. And I like that. The toes do not articulate though. So some, some of the newer action figures also have like a, like a little, uh, like a, the ball joint, they have another hinge right there, but he does not. Uh, as far as the arms are going, uh, it, they actually hid the seam really well with this clap uh, or with this uh, this strap here. Uh, it kind of covers the uh, the seam right there, which is actually very, very cleverly done. So he's going to look really good once you get him in whatever pose he's going to be in. Now he has the butterfly and ball joint there, but it's a little tight, so it doesn't really want to give away that much. Uh, he has a single jointed elbow, about a little less than 90 degrees. Uh, for bending and he has the uh, a wrist uh, wrist hinge and swivel right there um, and uh, there are some alternate hands that you should be able to pull this out and uh, do some fun stuff there uh, we don't really have any articulation in the middle uh, but the top of the head you know, we it's kind of like a it's a single there's no neck uh, pivot or anything like that either there's no joint here so you just get to basically you have like a a, a dome that you're gonna move the move that hand down. You have a dome that you're going to move the, the head around. Uh, there is a, and the head does, oh, that pops out too. So we have that right there. So, uh, and we can start looking at accessories now. So we get an alternate head sculpt. And uh, so this is pretty cool. We have basically serious slithe or slightly confused slithe. Like what? How did they do that? Where do they get these wonderful toys? How long do they go on? It's a little, a little tough to get them in there. I usually don't like uh, doing this all that much. So I'll, I'll mess with that later. Um, we've got uh, a more of a refined broad axe here and then uh, a more crude axe uh, on this side. We have, so he has, two, comes with two axes and a morning star and mine has a little, a little paint mistake right there and a little bit of a bend to it. It feels like it's kind of curved inward here only like by a degree or two. And we have alternate hands that are kind of clawing as opposed to uh, holding a weapon. The other ones are kind of held in that, yeah, I want to grab something kind of pose. So uh, so that's that's all the different accessories we get. He's very, very heavy though, very heavy. And I think that's going to allow him to stay up uh, despite him being awkwardly shaped. So that's pretty cool. All right, next up is Jaga. And uh, he is very impressive looking and uh, especially that face sculpt. I am loving the face. Uh, he's got uh, some surprising accessories too, uh, because I initially wasn't thrilled with the cape. I tend to not like cloth goods on characters, but he does have an alternate cape, which we will look at 
at the end. Uh, and this is an interesting, this is actually a pretty good uh, cloth good type of cape because it does have a wire hanger in here so you can kind of get some interesting poses if you want. And I think that's a really, really nice feature, for, especially for people who do like cloth goods. And I think there's, uh, there's definitely some posing you can do there. Um, as far as his costume, there's not a whole lot to it. He does have uh, the bracers here uh, on a different bracer on each arm. He's got the little ruby gem there. Uh, he's got uh, the beautiful uh, Eye of Thundera on his uh, kind of clasp holding his, his cloak on. Um, but uh, really great head work here. Great eyes. Great, uh, great paint job on this dude. And... Uh, Let's take a look at his articulation because uh, we for, well I, before we do that uh, also there's there's this this little uh, clip here which uh, can what kind of goes in here so that can come out pretty easily uh, which is I guess maybe a one point of feedback it's uh, you know if you're bending him and, and kind of tilting him the wrong way this this can come out without too much trouble so just be careful with with that um, but uh, and now it doesn't want to go back in. Lovely. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> um, all right. So he has pretty good uh, articulation here. We'll start with the legs. He does have the ball joint. Um, they, he's got a, 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 a really wide, a, a ton of flexibility. He can actually go just over 180 degrees right there. So he can go, he can do some crazy acrobatics uh, for an old man that's pretty sprawl. Um, he's got a, a single joint on the knees. Doesn't quite go 90 degrees, but almost there. So that still lets him get quite a bit of stuff. And he has the ankle pivot as well. Uh, so the hinge and pivot on the ankle. Now, um, he does have a, I'll, I'll take this off for now so we can do the rest. Um, because I'm going to be changing this out when we get to the accessories as well. Um, he does have a, uh, a torso, uh, uh, swivel right there. So that's going to give him some, the ab crunch. Uh, they were going to have the uh, ball joint on the shoulders, uh, that can give him a, a pretty good amount of, it comes in pretty far. It starts to hit right here on the pec. Um, we've got a single joint on the elbow, which gets you almost 90 degrees. And of course we have the, uh, the pivot hinge on the, uh, on the hands as well for that wrist. Um, you know, the uh, head is on a, the same kind of joint. So you have, and you have a lot of movement here. They've made this back part uh, a softer plastic, so it's gonna be easier to get around. I know some other figures I used to collect would have like a harder piece on the head, like hair is sometimes a really hard plastic and it would just stop your movement like right here. But now you can get this all the way around because it's a soft plastic. You can, uh, you can easily work with that without any problem at all. So I really like that. Um, let's talk about the accessories now. So the first one that's maybe the best one is this cape. You have a, the same kind of soft plastic that's on the back of his head. You have the same type of soft plastic that we're going right here for the cape. And, uh, and I love it. I really, really like soft plastic as opposed to cloth goods because it's not going to... Uh, it's not going to clash as well with the rest of the figure. You know, like when the, the whole figure is plastic, I think it looks generally better to have um, cloth goods that are also plastic. And that's a beautiful, like, I love that. And it, it matches with this too. So it just, it, I feel like it makes the figure more consistent and, and more complete. So I like that. I mean, this one's cool too. There's going to be certain poses that you can't get with this one because this one is, while it, it's still ha flexible, you're not going to be able to lock in like a flowing in the wind or something like that that you might want it to do otherwise. Um, so Jaga is going to come with some weapons. He's going to come with the kind of the dormant Sword of Omens while the eye sleeps. Uh, and then he has the extended uh, Sword of Omens with, uh, you know, with, with the full, the full, uh, the full, uh, the full Monty there. Uh, he's going to get a couple of extra hand sculpts. So he's got uh, two hands with the, like the thumbs up. And they're kind of in a partially open grip, but they're going to be good for gripping swords. And then he's got... Um, Two more with the thumbs a little higher. Well, I guess maybe this one goes with that. No, no, these these both both of these alternate hands look almost identical to me. I guess it's just how far up the the hands go because he he's got his open hands equipped, and he's got two. You know, like I don't see really the difference between this uh, left hand and this left hand. Like, what are we even looking at here? It's I guess it's one's tighter and one's a little bit more open. So I don't even, I, th I think that's overkill because they're, they're both, basically they're sword holding hands and you don't need four sword holding hands. We'll forget that ha this only has one sword, but whatever, you know, so be it. It is what it is. Uh, he also has another hand, which is him uh, holding some uh, a, a large piece of jello. You know, this is him using some of his, uh, his magic. This is good when he's like in his 
mystic form doing doing his Obi Wan Kenobi stuff. Um, and he has actually he comes with two extra heads. So the first one uh, is the way we kind of see him as old Jaga, and uh, this is kind of uh, his his him kind of. Uh, kind of uh what like i think right when he died like the helmet falls off and this is him like like really dying this is also kind of he also looks a little bit like tiger when he tiger was in that really really old cave where that made him age super fast um so that one's pretty cool and we've got another one with the same helmet um it, it, it doesn't look all that different from the one that is on him it's just a little more focused like he's he's maybe angry or scornful or determined with this helmet as opposed to his kind of more like you can see his lips a little more right in here versus versus here. So again, like it was kind of unnecessary with the second um, set of set of hands, and a little unnecessary with this third helmet that's almost the same as this one. But so be it. You know, uh, extra accessories is never a bad thing. Uh, I'm just not sure it was entirely necessary. But uh, Jaga looks pretty good, and uh, let's take a look at these guys come uh, with the with the other Thundercats. All right, so uh, these are all the current. Uh, you know, current Super 7 Thundercats and then the old Maddie Collect uh, Thundercats that I've, I've got so far. And uh, so far they like they fit in the same. I think the molds were basically the same between the two of them. I think the only thing that may be slightly different is that, you know, obviously the accessories and maybe some of the paint apps could potentially be slightly different. But I think they use the same molds, so everything's going to be in the right scale. So if you've got any of the old uh, of the uh, old uh, Maddie Collect Thundercats, the new Super 7 ones are going to fit perfectly with them. And uh, yeah, that's that's going to kind of do it for this unboxing and review. We're going to be uh, taking a look at more Thundercats as they show up. But if you want to see more, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Also, if you guys want to, um, you can check out some of those other links in the description below. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing and help make this whole channel possible. So thank you so much for watching. And always remember, don't ever take fruit from Silky.